Remember this short? Well, I've now done a full tutorial video on Purple Rain. Hi there, my name's Carolyn Dunn and I'm a Dot Mandala artist and I would love to welcome you to my channel. Let's get started on this piece, shall we? I've done two variations of the original Purple Rain 3-inch rock. The first one has purple iris and glorious gold. In the second variation, I've added purple pearl from Dazzling Metallics as well. In this video, I'll be using a nail stylus set like this one. These are the sizes of my tools. Yours may vary, so I'll always describe it by the millimeter size. And I also use the Happy Dotting Company tool set. Okay, we're starting on this rock today. I have base painted this. I've named it Purple Rain. It's based on one I previously did in a short, but the full tutorial has been requested, so here it is. And now we'll get started on the front. So we're going to lay out our rock and I've got this silicone stencil that I got at the Happy Dotting Company. And these rocks have a little spot in the middle that's raised to give you your center dot, which is perfect. And this is my top here. And I just do that for orientation with the signature on the back. So we'll find our center dot there and we'll put in our lines. So now we'll do our circle. Now you can choose to do this or you can use your compass to make the circles. I'll give you the measurements afterwards so if you don't have this stencil you can just do it with a compass. And there we go. And then I just take I have an old measuring tape here and I use it to draw my lines through. Now if you don't have this stencil, you can use a compass to create your circles. I'm just using a pencil to uh, connect the lines that I've already put on there using the stencil. If that center nub is a little too prominent, you can try and scrape it off. Lots of times I just leave it because it's going to be under my center dot, but this one was a little bit big, so I just peeled it off with a little plastic razor blade. Here I'm using a circle template to help me get a half inch circle around that center dot so it'll help me get my center dot in with a little more ease. Center dot will be in glorious gold. Well, everything will be in glorious gold, so yeah. Okay, I'm using the 11.5 millimeter tool. I'm really focusing on two lines that intersect at 90 degrees just to sort of isolate where I want that center dot. And we'll plump that dot right up. Now I'm using the small end of the 0.5 millimeter tool to create dots around our center dot. Remember that you want to dip your tool in the paint and dot. Dip your tool in the paint and dot. And don't let it build up with paint or that will alter the size of your dots as well. So you want to be as consistent as you can all the way around that center dot. So from center to this first uh, circle, the inner circle there, is 
not quite two centimeters. It's between one and three quarters and two centimeters. And then it's a centimeter from this line to this line and another centimeter from this line to this line. That should help you, especially if you're using a compass instead of um, the stencil lines. Okay, so now we're going to create some swooshes and we're starting at this first outer line here. So we'll start with the 0.5 millimeter tool and we'll just place a dot right there. And then you can use the smaller end of the 0.5 millimeter tool or a finer tip tool to drag that swoosh towards center. There, and now we have all our gold swooshes around. Now using the 0.5 millimeter tool, let's create a dot above each one of these swooshes. Now let's walk those dots down with the small end of the yellow tool or a fine tip tool. Very nice. Okay, we're using the 5.5 millimeter tool and we're going to place some circles, some big dots, 5.5 millimeter, right here in between the two lines and with the base of it or the top of it on this second line here. Just that easy. All right, now let's take our 0.5 millimeter tool again and we'll create a dot above each one of those larger dots right in the center. Okay, now let's switch to the small end of the tool and we're going to create a swoosh, like so. We're going to start working from this third line that we created with our stencil and we're going to create swooshes from that line up in between the flowers and we'll use our three millimeter tool to create our dot to load that with paint and then we'll use a fine tip tool to drag that up in between the flowers. Now let's use the 2.5 millimeter tool and let's create a dot above those swooshes. Now we're going to take the 0.5 millimeter tool and walk some dots.
Okay, obviously the best idea is to wait for your piece to dry so that you can handle it to place these next dots. I'm using the 2.5 millimeter tool here to place a dot above the dot we placed below it with the 2.5 millimeter tool as well. And you want that dot to be roughly the same size as the one above it or below it. <laughs> Okay, again, best to wait until it's dry, but I have no patience. So uh, now we're going to create swooshes on either side using the 2.5 millimeter tool as well. And you can always use a fine tip tool to tuck that little one in. <laughs> okay, I decided to let that dry for a bit. So while that's happening, I'm just using a fine tip tool to place a tiny little dot at the top of those swooshes as you can see here. All right, let's get back to those swooshes. Okay, we're ready to get started on this next part. We're going to be dragging this swoosh down from here right to the rim, the bottom of the, the rock. And I'm just gonna sketch in some lines just to keep me symmetrical. Again, we'll use the 2.5 millimeter tool to load that paint, and we'll use a fine tip tool to drag it down to the point. This jello container is just the right size for the rock to sit on without touching any of the fresh paint. Now that that's dry, we're just going in with the purple iris to create some contrast with this piece. Uh, we're just using the fine tip tool to go over those inner swooshes with the purple iris. And now we're going to put top dots on these guys in the purple iris. So we'll top dot these guys with the 3.5 millimeter tool. We're just kissing the surface there. And then we'll come in and top dot again with the gold. Now we use the one millimeter tool to go over these larger swooshes. Just going over some of these gold dots with another dot just to beef it up a bit and uh, make it plumpy and we're using the two millimeter tool this time on those dots. So making it a little bit larger. Plumping up this dot as well with the 0.5 millimeter tool. 
and these two as well. And that'll be the end of that. <laughs> Time to top dot our top dots using the 2mm tool. And then we'll take our 0.5mm tool and create a top dot just at the top of those swooshes there. Now let's place tiny little top dots on the top of these swooshes with a very fine tip tool. So I'm interrupting this video for a second because I want to show you the other rock that I did with the purple pearl paint as the highlight paint. and. Um, it, it is pretty much exactly the same as the first one, except for the highlight paint. I didn't use the base color, I used Purple Pearl. So you have to let me know what you think. So you see a little bit of me doing this second rock, and then we're gonna come back and finish the bottom edge of both of these rocks. I love them both, actually. I think they just give two unique, different looks. So I guess it's personal preference. What are your thoughts on the difference between the two? Here I'm walking dots with the small end of the 0.5 millimeter tool and I'm just walking them from the flower outwards towards the bottom of the rock. And they're both caught up now. Okay, for the last bit of painting here, we're going to put a flower in these spaces. So we'll start by using the 4mm tool to create a dot, and then we'll walk some dots around it. Now this element wasn't in the shorts video, but I really felt it needed a little something more. So you can add this or not add it, up to you. And now we'll walk some dots. 0.5 millimeter tool for the uppermost dot and then we'll walk them down with the small end of the tool for the whole piece. Time to clean off those guidelines. And now I present to you Purple Rain, version 2 and version 3. This one's for you, Lori. 
Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for your support. And please remember, keep on dotting. See you at the next one.